I sent off a letter. It was a letter in response to the invitation to apply to become the next president of Trinity Western University. So you send it off, you pray, and you wonder, will anyone in the world ever read this letter? I think we've all had that experience. And it turns out they did. It turns out as a result, I'm here. It was a humbling experience. It was an answer to prayer. The first person I called was my wife and said, you'll, you'll never believe this, but I think we are going to Vancouver. I'm terribly excited about coming here. I've learned so much about the kind of impact that Trinity Western has on students. Everyone you meet here tells you this is a special place. After a while you wonder, could that possibly be true? I think it is. The work of Trinity Western University happens because of the rich network of people who have invested so much in its mission to develop godly Christian leaders, to have a vision of leadership that's informed by deep commitment to Christ. How in the world could I help you understand who the next president of Trinity Western University is? If you could imagine someone who is moved by John Coltrane, Chance the Rapper, the Rolling Stones, and also Beethoven's late string quartets. You get a sense, I am open to the world. I love what God has done. I love culture, I love beauty. I'm so moved by truth. Yes, I'm a theologian. I'm at home in the world of the Bible. It means so much to me. Helping students to know and to love God with all of their hearts, minds, body, and soul. There is no greater vision than that. It's the vision of serving Christ.